A basketball, which can be closely modeled as a hollow spherical shell, rolls down a mountain side into a valley and then up the opposite side, starting from rest at a height h naught above the bottom. In figure, the rough part of the terrain prevents slipping while the smooth part has no friction. Neglect rolling friction and assume the system's total mechanical energy is conserved. How high in terms of h naught will the ball go up the other side? Why doesn't the ball return to the height h naught? Has it lost any of its original potential energy? Okay. Initially, the ball has the gravitational potential energy. While it is rolling, it has the uh, translational kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy. Now, right on the law, uh, obviously, the energy is conserved. According to law of conservation of energy, total energy of the system remains constant. So, the initial energy must be equal to the final energy. Here, initial energy is the gravitational potential energy. I am representing H as H naught. So, mgh naught is equal to half mv square plus half i omega square. Okay. So, mgh naught is equal to half mv square and i we have to find out. i is equal to 2 by 3 mr square for a hollow spherical shell. So, half into 2 by 3 mr square into v square over r square. Now, on simplifying, we get v square is equal to 6 by 5 gh naught. Now, the ball is going on the smooth surface. It is climbing up. While climbing up, the initial um, kinetic energy, translational kinetic energy and the rotational kinetic energy. Here it has both translational kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy. That gets converted into gravitational potential energy and rotational kinetic energy. Now the rotational kinetic energy goes up and then the remaining uh, translational kinetic energy is equal to the gravitational potential energy. Now, on substituting v, v square, we get h naught is equal to 3 by 5 h naught. h dash is equal to 3 by 5 h naught. This is the answer for the uh, question A. How high in terms of h naught will the ball go up the other side? This one. Now, why doesn't the ball return to the height h naught? Why doesn't it mean? Because here, some of the initial potential energy has been converted it into converted into rotational kinetic energy and also the translational kinetic energy. So the rotational kinetic energy, they, because it is it gets converted into rotational kinetic energy, there is less of the potential energy. Okay, and then here on the other side, it, it, it the energy even though there isn't any friction. We have the less of less of the potential energy. So has it lost a, any of its original potential energy? It hasn't lost, but it ha it has been converted into rotational kinetic energy. That is the thing. I, I, there isn't any loss here. Only thing is it gets converted into rotational kinetic energy. That is the answer for this. Why it doesn't means here the initial potential energy gets converted into both translational and rotational kinetic energy. That will not, uh, the rotational one will not uh, manifest into, again, uh, when, when it is climbing up, it will not come into the uh, account. That is why we get lesser height while climbing up on the smooth uh, side. That is the answer for this question. Hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.